The flexible sole gel synthesis route enables materials to be produced with tunable density, surface area, and pore size, which can be cast into a variety of forms, including monoliths and thin films. The synthesis begins by combining a catalyst with the precursor solution and allowing the mixture to cure at moderate temperature. This produces a fully cross-linked monolithic gel with solvent trapped in the pore structure. Cure time and temperature can be used to control the morphology of the material produced. As a second step, the wet gel is dried using supercritical CO2 to preserve the nanostructure. The material is now an aerogel. Next, the aerogel is heated to high temperature in an inert atmosphere in order to carbonize it, removing oxygen-containing functional groups and converting the chemical crosslinks to conductive sp2 bonds. The resulting materials are chemically and mechanically robust. Analytical tools such as scanning electron microscopy are used to characterize morphology and measure surface area and pore size distribution. Post-synthetic surface treatment can be used to enhance desired properties such as charge storage capacity. Carbon aerogels were invented at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the 1980s and we've continued to develop ultra-high surface area, low-density materials. The sole gel synthesis you're going to see today is highly flexible, allowing us to develop materials to meet the unique needs of research that happens here at Livermore. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods to produce low-density, high-surface area carbon materials is that we can produce monolithic materials